So good morning, active traders, and welcome to our Trading Week Ahead live broadcast. I'm Ken Calhoun, your host, president of the original Day Trading University and Trade Mastery, coming at you live here on Saturday, July 23rd, 2022. Well, I hope you all are making some money, right? We've had so many great opportunities. The market's been trying to bounce here. We'll see if it's to continue up or not. We've got a FOMC Powell rate hike coming up next week. That's going to be the biggest data point on set. Of course, 75 basis points is expected. If we get 50 or 100, all heck's going to break loose. So it'll be interesting to see where markets go. Let me ask a quick question before we get started. As we get started, a really big turnout today. How many of you are day, primarily day traders or swing traders, or do you do both? If you would type in just the letter D, S, or both. Day traders, swing traders, or both. And I'll adapt today's broadcast based on what the majority of you vote. So far, we've got, just type in chat. Don't raise your hand, just type in chat. Wow, mostly both. Both day for options, both, wow, day, both, 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 swing, day, both for options, both, day, swing. Okay, we got a lot, we got a lot of both. Okay, well, thanks. We got so many here, wow, all these scrolling by swing. And thanks, Dave, hey, Jack, John, William, Damon, Ian. Thanks, everyone. Well, let's get underway. Get on with it, Calhoun. All right, the S&P, overall, this is a bullish recovery pattern, but we don't have a, a full recovery or a break of the downtrend unless we get over the 4170 mark, this previous swing high right here, right? So we're still a, a bear market rally mode, but it's a fairly strong rally. If you look at the characteristic of this, the peaks here, the recovery bounce is relatively strong. It's an uptrending lower support level. So eh. I'm going to mostly stay cash other than day trading until or unless we get over and hold over the 4170 for at least three days. That's a ride or downer. I'm not going to swing trade the market aggressively unless we get over 4170 for a minimum of three days in the S&P. That's really important. That's valuable. Write that down and you'll, you'll thank me, I'm sure. I'm really good at market timing and reversals. Now I'm, I'm fading the market. I will go short the market if we get under the 3,900. Now Fed Chief Powell speaking on Wednesday or when, whenever it is, uh, the FOMC, it's typically on a Wednesday. If we have a 75 basis point hike, that will lead to not much reaction from the market most likely. But if we get something different, a 50 or 100, uh, that will uh, cause the market to go nuts. So be on the lookout for that. One thing I want you to pay attention to as always is our VIX, our SIBO volatility index, and you can see we're kind of at support down near that 23 level, right? If you draw a horizontal line here, I'm not gonna drop it. Historically, what happens when the VIX goes down to support? Does it A, continue on down, or does it B, bounce? It almost always pivots. So for that reason, I bought over 500 shares of UVXY on Friday, uh, and also some SQs and SOXS to the mix, I'm fading the rally. I shorted the market on Friday. Uh, the futures held held me correct, or with uh, futures dropped, I think it was 50 basis points uh, on Friday afternoon after the bell. Anyway, what goes up goes down. We buy support, sell resistance. This is very much a trader's market. Look at the VIX, up and down and up and down. What's the smart play? Do you buy high and sell low? Probably not. If you want to make money, you flip it. You want to buy low and sell high. So not to say this won't go down to 14 or something, but it's at a key support level in our volatility index. So uh, I'm using 21 or so as decision-making support and 26 as resistance. So for the VIX, let's use 21 support. If it gets under 21, we want to uh, flip to long bias. Uh, and if it gets over the 26, we want to push into a short bias, an inverse bias. So keep an eye on the volatility index. It's really critical that you understand that we are at a key support level and testing it. And because every single time the market's tested support it has bounced, uh, I'm expecting it will do so at some time within the next week or so. So keep an eye on the VIX as a key indicator as well as the S&P numbers. Now, for those of you who are, let, let's change channels here for a couple of day trade charts. I don't know if anyone got a piece of this. I didn't. 
I was just brought to my attention this weekend, but HKD is a new issue. Look at their run from 20 to 70 in a single day. It almost quadrupled, it tripled in a single day. So that one's on the radar for next week. Live room members, do be sure to uh, stay tuned for that. We'll be looking at that one. Uh, speaking of the live room, just a quick reminder, or if you're not aware, I do have our summer, summer success sale on for the next week or so, the next eight days, and then it goes away. Uh, you can get six months of the live room for just $6.95. So, and I'm raising prices across the board for my live room substantially uh, really soon now. So this is the last chance to get a really good price on the room for now. Uh, that works out to just slightly over 100 a month, which is a really good bargain. Uh, we meet five days a week. And the URL to, to take note of is trademastery.com forward slash summer success. And there's more information on the website for that. And you can join us in the live room on Zoom five days a week. Now back to our right back to our program here. We take a look at the intraday charts. HKD was good. <coughs> Excuse me, big end of day spike and Ameritrade too. AMTD going, I think that's Ameritrade. Anyway, AMTD going from one to two and a half. That's an end of day spike. Now, if you have an issue of this month's uh, technical analysis of stocks and commodities magazine, you will see that the article in this month's issue just out on the newsstands this past couple of days or in your uh, in your mailbox is on end of day day trading patterns. And this is one that I like. Often you'll see a short squeeze or a speculative run up at the end of day. And that's why I'm in the live room for you guys five days a week from 3.30 to 4 to catch these kind of moves for you. So that's another benefit to being in the live room. A quick tip too, I will be speaking on behalf of Money Show coming up next week. And let's see, I believe it's the 26th. I have to double check. I will be sending out an email with information for my Money Show appearance this weekend. And I'll send it again on Monday. So be on the lookout for that. Anyway, one could do well if one traded these kind of charts, right? Early in the market, we had good runs in instruments like PGY. This is an ideal example of the type that I like to cover in my live trading open room because of the range. And it's relatively cheap, right? It's not one of those cheap, low float, horrible, front run, uh, low volume things that uh, dishonest chat room people run. Uh, instead, I like to cover things that have high volume and high volatility and to the best of our ability to find big consistent runs. So this guy ran all the way from around six to 14. So over doubled. Over doubled. How much money could you have made? Did you bought at seven or eight and sold up at nine or ten? Even if you just got a, a dollar or two out of the run, that's a big run. So we will be covering this next week. These are the types that I cover in the live room. Another good one was TBLT. A couple of my traders had mentioned this one. Pretty nice run there from six to nine. So my point is if you trade stocks under ten dollars, make sure that they have high volume so that they can't be front run by dishonest. FTC busted chat room operators, you know who they are, right? People who advocate under $10 low float, low volume, thinly traded, horrible things to trade. Don't trade things like that. Trade things with volume and volatility. The two, two Vs, volume and volatility. Make sure that you've got both of those in your favor as an active trader. I was looking for a bounce in Snap, but no love. Snap just kind of sold off all day, right, from 11. I called it short at 1080, by the way. That was my short call for live room members. Our long call was way up at 12 too, as you can see, that never hit. It's just kind of ground round sideways near 10. Other charts that have been hot until yesterday, Marathon had been on a big run up and Peloton, another one of those sell off, maybe worth it. So for bottom fishing, I'm looking for moves maybe in Peloton and Snapchat. For breakouts, we want charts like this one, like this one. That one, has my, that one has my vote for the best day trading chart of the day was PGY. One of my smart members mentioned that. Oh, thanks. Hey, Trey, how you doing? Let's see, a question. Let's see. Do I ever play SH or SS? Oh, no, I don't trade those. Now let's take a look back at some swing trading charts because we've got lots to cover here. Now, like I mentioned to you guys a few weeks ago, swing trading charts... For pivots, for breakouts, Humana is really good, right? That's pretty pricey. But for pivots, I really like Disney. It's probably my favorite. 
it had come from much higher. This is just a, what, a six month chart. Disney, Netflix. Netflix, it's good because it had a consolidation base near 170. Now it's finally gotten back over the 220, just barely poking its head above 220. So keep an eye on Netflix and PayPal. How about this chart? I don't know how many of you have seen the great movie Full Metal Jacket uh, with Arlie Ermey and all that, but you know, you got the drill instructors and they say things, uh, they have uh, the chants and all that, and I'll say that about this one. It's like, I don't know, but I've been told Wall Street isn't liking gold. That, that rhymes. I don't know, but it's been said, you might want to try some dust instead. Left, right, oh, left, right, oh. I was watching Full Metal Jacket again, so I don't know, but I've been told Wall Street doesn't like its gold, and this is GDX, the gold uh, ETF, and look at this sucker. It's gone from 40 down to 25. Gold's been almost cut in half on this ETF in just the last few months. I think it might be a bit oversold, and it may bounce, so I'm always ever the contrarian as well as the directional volatility trader guy, so if it bounces, where would you guys go along? I'm just curious, where would you go along GDX? Hint, I'm suggesting that you might want to keep GDX on the radar for a potential bounce, as well as dust for a potential breakout. That's what I call pair swing trading. And that's one thing that I alert my live room members to is opportunities like this and nice consistent charts uh, to trade either the directional continuation or the pivot at the first sign of a bounce after an extended sell-off. Now, somebody thought it was worth 40 bucks a share, Oh, by the way, this illustrates which concept of mine? Sell the nines. You never buy nines, right? This is like, you sell the 39, right? That would have been a great exit right under the 40. You never ever buy something with a nine and like 39 would have been a terrible place to buy. But anyway, where'd you guys go along here? Wow, a lot of answers. Wow. 28, 27, 33, 27, 15, 26, 70, 28. You got there, Mira? Or 28. I say anywhere over 27, 28 should be good, right? I'm not going to get picky about it. It's going to be 26.62 cents. No, uh, anywhere north of 27 is good. And the reason for that is that's outside of this week long, week plus consolidation box. So this little range here, it's collective resistance. The resistance is 27. So anywhere north of 27, or if you want to wait till 28, that's fine too. And where would you put your stop loss? No further down than 25, right? Now, I play much tighter than that. If I buy like 27.50, I'll stop out at like 26.50 or something. But anyway, 27 on a pivot on this. And if we look on the directional play, so that's the counter trend. Dust is its inverse. And look how magnificently dust has ran. It's gone all the way from 11 to 24. So this is the kind that I like to cover in the live room for members because, you know, you could swing trade this even for a few weeks and do really well. Or if you're more patient, you could could have potentially doubled your money from 11, 12 up here to 24. Let me ask you, if you'd taken any of my dust long calls, if you're a live room member and you'd taken dust on a swing trade call earlier, where would you trail a stop? Where would you sell your dust if it gets underneath? One of the things that the reason I'm asking is because one of the most important skills you can get, one of the most important skills you can develop as an active trader is knowing when to get out of the trade, when to exit. The entries are important, but the exits are just as important, if not more so. So where would you trail a stop? Let's say you long dust from, I don't know, 18 or so, or even 15, 16, 17, 18. You bought it in the teens and now it's up in the low 20s. Where would you sell your dust? Where would you trail a stop? lock and a profit. What do you guys have? Hey, John, just because the nines, uh, uh, a very famous uh, chart software or charting technician did a back study, uh, back testing that don't buy the nines and he found it was true. It, it worked. It was correct like 70% of the time. Let's say 2150, 2122, 2150, 2122, 22, dust below 22, 22, 21, 90. So you guys are all selling 22 and you are correct. Ding, 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 ding. Give that man a dollar sign. Oh yeah, sell, sell, sell. Under twenty-two, and that's exactly right. The nearest whole number. 
that makes perfect sense because it's under that consolidation support of the last recent seven days there you can see those candles collectively have support at 22 so i'd sell 2150 22 any loss of the 22 is a place to get out of the trade in the scale in we get back over say at 2550 26 right so that's the kind of swing trading chart that i like what else is in play here and that gas has been kind of all over the place. Oil's been bouncing, the long cold's been selling. I've been playing pivots in this thing. What I like about cold is the range. Look at the range in this thing from 200 down to 20. One of the most important things you can develop as a trader is the skill to understand trading ranges and make decisions based on that. So for example, this, I'm eager to buy this on a bounce over 20, right? And sell into 40. This is our natural gas inverse ETF, KOLD. It's cold and chilly. Uh, I'll look to buy this over 20 and sell into the 30, maybe into the 40 if I'm lucky. But at least if I can buy this at 21 and sell at 27, I'm happy. So that's a good chart. That's KOLD. So that's one thing that we also cover in the room regularly is our commodity ETFs like this one because I want you to have full coverage. Unlike other rooms that are incomplete, or they just specialize in like penny crap stocks or whatever. I like to give you guys both commodity ETFs to play as well as day and swing trading setups. Speaking of, our short crude oil is starting to bounce here. It had been much higher. Take a look at this on the one year, for example. So that's the short crude oil ETF. And you can see it's been trying to form a consolidation base here the last month or month and a half or so. Uh, the SCO would be an aggressive buy over the 30, right? But if I had, if you were my, if, if you guys were one of my institutional clients, that's what I would say is a heavy size of the capitals firm, or how to say, the hedge capital over 30. So if we get over 30, a short crude oil bounce, if, if oil, starts to drop at some point this will of course uh, go up so if we get over 30 that would be good what i like is it's been going going enough during the last month or so so we've got really good volatility in this what else and again big picture don't get don't get sucked into a bear market rally and be out there buying because talking heads are saying, oh, it's the bottom and it's time to buy quality oversold. They've been saying that since November, right? The morons on TV and cable news, financial TV have been calling bottoms for six months incorrectly. Now notice, please, the people on financial news TV, they will never tell you about things that I like to trade. Like SQs, right? Or SARC or other things that go up. Now, I think we're at a potential, I'm going to wrap up with this thought. I think we're at a potential pivot point in the market for the inverses. So the market may well head back down. All depends on what the Fed's going to say this weekend. Being that we're in heavy earnings season, we'll see what the bulk of the earnings, if they're, if they're hits or misses. Uh, but it's a critical time to be well informed in the market. And the way to do that is to be sure you're in my live room. So I bought some of this yesterday and I bought some SOXS and I bought a lot of UVXY because I think they're all due for pivots, right? Anyway, with that, let me wrap up. I want to say thanks to all of you for being here. And again, the current special, trademastery.com forward slash summer success. I will be raising my roommates permanently this uh, upcoming week, uh, but you can get in for this. It's uh, You get six months for just six ninety five, so that's just about 100 a month, so really good deal. And we meet five days a week, and you get to, the one thing that separates my room from any other is that I'm in it, okay? But the, other than that is uh, I'm the guy leading it, but also I give you very specific price points for where to paper trade, educational use only, where to enter, and I say where to trail a stop. And I say where to re-enter, and then where to trail a stop on that. Or if we get in one that doesn't work out, where to use your first break even or 10 or 20 cent stop. So you get specific prices, as you can see, you know, I have very specifically here where the long triggers are, 
And I post those before the opening bell each morning, before 9.30. So that way you can see exactly what's worth trading. So anyway, I hope I can be of service to you. Do give me a shot. I've been doing this for 21 years now. Uh, you can see many hundreds of uh, reviews and testimonials on the site, including video ones from Thrilled Traders, and I hope that it helps. So anyway, you guys take care. Let's make lots of money. We have a good volatile market ahead of us, and I think I'm in good position to help you navigate the ups and downs and give you some trade ideas, right? Some things that you might want to take a shot at that if it gets over here, it may be good for long with a you know 20 cent hard stop. And once it runs up to the whole number, sell it right now and very step-by-step -step walkthroughs of the, some of the very best charts in each day's session. Hey, you're welcome, thanks. Oh, thanks everyone, I appreciate it, yeah. All right, well, appreciate y'all for being here. I'm gonna wrap up early because I've done said my piece, so I'll see you guys uh, trade smart, let's go get them. And the URL is trademastery.com forward slash summer success. So I hope I can be part of your trading success. Uh, take a look at the site, take a look at the testimonials, Kind of read between the lines and see, you know, I'm one of the guys that's really worth learning from because I trade daily and I've been doing this for years. And unlike competitors, I have tax return proof that I actually really trade, right? So that's important, I think. Just saying. Anyway, you guys take care. Trade smart. Have a peaceful weekend. And dang, it's been so freaking hot, hasn't it? It's just ah, exhaustingly hot. So hopefully we stay cool. I like to take periodic showers. And of course, the AC helps as well. Stay safe out there. you got a lot of distracted drivers. So be safe. And I will see you guys in our next session. Sign up this weekend if you would for this, right? This is a really good special. Uh, it's just $6.95 for six months. And that's good for uh, what, eight days left. So sign up at trademastery.com forward slash summer success. Or if not, at least I hope I've given you some good thoughtful ideas for how to trade this upcoming week ahead. So best wishes for success in your trades. Stay safe out there and take care. Let's see. What else? And I think if there's anything else to cover. Still got a couple of minutes left here. Uh, a question now about Money Show. It's online, so I'm speaking at the Money Show. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I'll get an email out in a few minutes here, the Money Show presentation, but it's uh, online and it's free. So I'll be speaking for Money Show. I think it's, I want to say the 20, Tuesday, the 26th. Um, I have to double check the calendar, but anyway. I will send the Money Show link out and you'll be able to see me online with other speakers as well. All right, well, trade smart and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Neat background, eh? That's what my monitors look like in reverse. Anyway, take care, trade smart.